I'm Major Jordan Reed, and on behalf of my teammates, Major Adam Dietrich and Major Connor Stewart, today I'll be providing an overview of our research entitled Gap Analysis of Department of Defense Program Management Competency Standards in Preparation for the Shift to Portfolio Management and Defense Acquisitions. We selected this topic for a number of key reasons. First, it was an ARP-sponsored topic. This was important to us because we knew that working with ARP would provide us access to additional professional advisement, additional resources, and a relevant defense-focused topic. Secondly, ongoing acquisitions reform and challenges associated with potential future budget cuts makes portfolio management an intriguing concept and future strategy for the DOD. We know that the DOD will need to continue to take steps to become both more efficient and effective, and we wanted to help bridge that gap. Finally, we saw this topic as immediately relevant to our careers. Connor and Adam are heading to Marine Corps Systems Command to work in the acquisitions workforce, and I'm headed to the Pentagon. So a blend of acquisitions and policy made for a fitting research endeavor for the entire team. For our research, we explored the following questions. First, are there gaps in the DOD project management competency standards that must be addressed before the DOD can fully implement product portfolio management as directed in the National Defense Authorization Act of 2021? Second, where are the DOD and project management institute portfolio management professional certification standards aligned regarding competency standards? And third, what barriers exist regarding the implementation of national standards? We answered these questions by mapping current DOD program management competency standards to the Project Management Institute portfolio management standards and assigned each standard an alignment score. We then assessed each portfolio management standard with a barrier to implementation rating based on the degree to which personnel structure or significant policy changes would be required for that implementation. Our primary finding for the research is that the defense acquisition system is not currently structured to provide the appropriate training, education, evaluation, and feedback for proper job performance within a portfolio management centric strategy. The largest gaps exist in the strategic alignment and governance domains of portfolio management which account for 45% of the focus of the portfolio management professional certification. To bridge this gap, we recommend that the DOD create either a career path or a career field for portfolio managers, complete with established portfolio management specific competency standards. Regarding barriers to implementation, we found that roughly 37% of the barriers are low, meaning that the DOD could make changes toward portfolio management standards without significant structure or major policy changes. As a final note, we would like to thank the Acquisitions Research Program and our advisors, Dr. Mortlock and Professor Jones for their support in conducting our research. And we hope that our findings help move the DOD forward. Thanks for listening in.